Hi, I'm Marissa with APS EdTech, and today I'm going to show you a trick in Google Docs to use the citations tool. Hey students, today I'm going to show you how to use the citations tool in Google Docs. No more using outside websites to get your citations in order and keeping track of crazy links and different sites and pop-ups to get your bibliography and your in-text citations done. You can find sources instantly and plug them into the Google Citations tool and it will cite them for you. You can do citations in a snap. Best of all, it will generate your work cited page for you at the end after you have all your sources and everyone can collaborate seamlessly in the same document. To access the citations tool in Google Docs, go to the tools menu, then come down to citations, and on the right, a menu will appear. You can choose whether you want MLA, APA, or Chicago style format for your citations and your works cited page by clicking on this arrow to the right of MLA. I already have two citation sources in this text, so we're gonna add citation source. And I'm going to add the No Fear Shakespeare website. So we choose website, we come over here and we get this web address and we just paste the URL into the box. Then we click search and this is all the information that it comes up with. If we go to the No Fear Shakespeare page and go all the way to the bottom, we can see that this was published in 2024. So we're going to put that information in. So we click continue. The author is Shakespeare. The publisher, I'm going to put No Fear Shakespeare, and then we're just going to put 2024. This is the day I accessed it, and that's information that I need for my citation. So I click that, and it adds it to my Works Cited list. Now to add an in-text citation, what we're going to do is we're going to go to where we want the citation in the paper, and we're going to hit this button that says Cite, and it will put the citation in. Now, for Shakespeare, we cite things a little bit differently. And if you're using a book or something, you'll need to put the page number in. But I'm just going to put Act 3, Scene 1, Lines 59 through 61. So you might need to do some punctuating in your in-text citations to make it MLA format. Uh, but it will put the author into your paper. Since this is a website, there's no page number, which is why I'm citing the text for the Shakespeare. Let's do another one and let me show you how you can cite a book. So here I have a book that I'm citing in my paper. I'm gonna come down here and find the ISBN number and I'm gonna take it back to my English paper. Let's say I checked this book out of the library and I didn't get any of the information. I search for it and it comes up with all the information I need except for the page number. So I go continue, print author, Harold Bloom. There's all the information, number of volumes, title, add citation source, and it takes us back to this. So if I went to cite Harold Bloom, I make it right here, cite, Bloom and it will prompt me to replace the number with the page number. And then I want to make sure that I include my MLA format punctuation. When I'm done with my paper and it's time to add a works cited page, I go to where I want to add that works cited page and over here on the right, I have an option to insert works cited. You can see that this automatically created my works cited page in the format I need it immediately. I can see from this that it has cited all of my sources alphabetically and in the manner in which they need to be cited and I didn't have to do any of that work. Don't forget to like and subscribe for weekly updates and find the one pager in the comments below.